So next in the waiting room, we have the gentleman who put together that fabulous Motown Basics, that's B-A-S-S hyphen I-C-S, <laughs> and no boat people, that's not bass. It's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the, it's the Motown Basics. This is multiple Detroit oh. Music Award winner, including tonight, uh, Takashi Io. Uh, Takashi, welcome to hey, the, af to the after party. Good. Congratulations. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah. First of all, you are an award winner tonight in the classical category. Yeah. Uh, so this is your opportunity to give the thank you speech and uh, go go at it. Hold up oh, your yeah. it, it, it's the, As usual, it's just uh, I can't I can't do any of this without you know, Amanda, my partner, and uh, having the inspiration um, like my kids, Aria and Luca. And having the support that uh, from my parents also, and you know, such an awesome uh, community of musicians in Detroit who support each other, and just I can't do it without them. So I just want to say thank you, and thank you to all you the producers, you know, who made all of this happen. The show was amazing. I just have to say, it's it oh. just blew my mind. It was just I never got bored from top to bottom. You know, did you see the bottom? Like, <laughs> he, he, he can he can hold down the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good one, Stacy. <laughs> yeah. that, that's um, my job. I got the dad jokes. Sorry. <laughs> well, between you and Gary, I don't know. Between the two, of you. oh, Gary, Gary's a winner, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, you're the only one that thinks that. Um, could the uh, could the boat people uh, weigh in here? You know, uh, yeah. bait since since it's not bass. Uh, but but base, can we? Uh, what do you what do you have What do you have to ask, Mr. Takashi here? Well, I'll use my large mouth to say, you know, oh. the uh, you know the bass lines of Motown are really. It's it's evident the way you put this together how much they carry those songs. You know, I mean, Motown has such a, a complex musical style anyway. But when you just really focus on that bass line and stuff, yeah. I was really impressed how that yeah. came about. And uh, I just, you know, our hats off to oh. you for that. It just, it, it really, you know, it really moved the show along. It was really good. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, that was Gary's idea. And I think Stacy had something to do with it too in the background. She's, you know, you guys are always communicating about things, but Gary basically just called me up and said, Hey, why don't we do this? And, you know, we just basically threw it together within an hour or something right gary we just kind of threw the tunes back and forth and then yep. came up with an arrangement and you know and the hardest part i think was just getting the guys to do it you know finding the right people personalities to play the certain bass lines mm -hmm. and and you know i know mo all of these bass players from detroit and i i know the kind of personalities that you know they have in the bass lines that they're more um I, I guess connected to i could just kind of see certain people playing certain bass lines so it was really fun and you know having giovanni collier you know doing the intro speech that was just it just blew my mind because yeah. he's just such an amazing accomplished musician and everybody wants to play with him you know and and he just graciously just said yeah and no problem you know and did an amazing job, right, Stacy? I was like within like <laughs> yeah, he like is one of the, the sweetest people ever. <laughs> I mean, just, he's just such a kind soul, mm -hmm. and you can just tell even with his introduction, he's so sweet yep. and and caring and loves Detroit so much, and it, it's really evident. And it was you know one phone call or text, and he was like, "Yep, what do you need?" and Within, within a, day, a half a day. Yeah, <laughs> it was right back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Oh, so good. Takashi, I, I have a question. Since I uh, edited that piece, I that was amazing, those, yeah. those were drilled into my brain the entire uh, two week period. But yes. they are they're all ear earworms. So which one got stuck in your head as you were putting it together? You know, I think I think it was Sir Duke. Yeah, uh, that, that's the one mm. that. I heard that from the get go. And I was like, you know, I was kind of conflicted because I wanted to keep everything Detroit and, you know, that's West coast, right. you know, along with, uh, I want you back. And, you know, but Nathan Watts and, uh, you know, uh, Wil Wilton Felder, like th these guys are all phenomenal bass players who'd represent Detroit too, you know, but they just happened to record it on the West coast. So I was a little, mm -hmm. uh, but, but I couldn't, 
I could not put Sir Duke in there. And I think Gary was like, yeah, that's, that's it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I want you back. Um, watching Chuck's fingers on that one, they barely move. And that is just, I, I, there's, there's that little walk down that he does. And it just is, it's, it's, you could watch that over and over. Oh, I know. And I hope people will do that once they get the chance to watch it. I mean, every single one of these bass players I look up to, you know, they all do something that I can't do. And, mm. and, and Chuck just like, you know, like you said, it's just the funkiest dude, you know, yeah. Yeah. on a four string, you know, he just <laughs> throws it down that guy. <laughs> but they all do. Crazy. Everybody. Yeah. They this, all do. Everyone. Just, yeah. It was, it was pretty awesome. You know, Good. so thank you so much for letting me be a, be a part of this. And it was so fun putting it together. So. Well, we appreciated you doing it, uh, Takashi. And Jim beat me to the punch because I was going to you know, point out to the world that Jim put it all together. Yeah. Some of the raw materials and did and did ju- and did just a great job. Yeah. So uh, I was job. I was yeah. afraid because when you you know when you sent me that pile of stuff, I'm like, oh no, this is <laughs> a whole lot different. And it just when I started looking at everything, I saw the path. And then when I saw uh, who was the gentleman on the uh, the 15 million string bass? Oh, uh, Damon Warmack. Yeah. So when I saw Damon shot his tall, I'm like, yeah. all right, Damon gets moved around. Yeah. that was one of the best the the flashing it was like you should have an epileptic warning on that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but i gotta say that was luca's favorite part <laughs> oh, like, good. wow how does right. he do that <laughs> he's that fast yeah <laughs> thank you so much jim it was thank amazing your production oh. is just you know over thank the you. top it's awesome thank all you. right I yeah. think we can say both of you guys basically did a great job <laughs> and, and really made everybody shake their basses. So uh, uh, all the way to the end, Gary. So now that now that we've now that we've covered all the bases, Takashi, no, thank you for no, being uh, here. Can uh, we oh, string wait. this out a little further? I don't know. <laughs> all right. Now that we've lost all our viewers, we will uh, we will thank <laughs> thank Takashi. See you soon. <laughs>